number three welterweight tournament quarterfinal number one. Jimmy on your scorecard. Uh, right now I have it all tied up, 19 apiece. I gave that last round to Douglas Lima. Great top control. He was in charge. Oh, good left hand by Lima. Steve Carl is in the white trunks. Douglas Lima is in the gray trunks. Lima told us the key to victory is to outwork Steve Carl. That is very true, and that's where that layoff comes in, too. You know, you haven't fought in a year. The nerves are a little bit stronger. Don't know exactly what your body can do. Lima needs to push the pace in this third round. But right now, it's Carl moving forward. Carl fainting with the jump knee. And Carl always comes forward with no fear, hands down. Did that against Brett Cooper. Oh, I think he hurt his leg with that kick. Saw him hobble a little bit. Ate Carl, another right hand. Carl heard you, Jimmy. He looked at us and shook his head no. I love that Carl knows us so well. He can look over and actually help us give commentary. Carl fainting with the right hand. Throws the right, didn't get through. I'll take his word for it that his, his leg is not hurt. I just saw a little hobble there. Fighters are outstanding liars, Sean. Never forget that. Good right hand by Lima. Just straight right. Carl really just pulling Lima on top of him there. I think that's a bad move for Steve. Carl Lima, Lima has been very successful on top so far. That's how he won that second round. Lima did tell us very candidly he thought Carl was very dangerous on the ground. He said that's one of the reasons why I want to keep this fight standing. He felt he had a much bigger advantage in the stand-up. Well, you know, that second round, he was on top in this position in half guard a lot. Really dominated that round, so I don't know why Carl will pull guard in this situation. Carl still holding half guard. Especially if his leg's not hurt like you told us. Lima looking for his seventh consecutive victory and victory in his Bellator debut. The winner through to the semifinal round of this 170 pound tournament. Lima now to side control. Carl getting back to guard after that knee on the belly attempt. Carl again looking for the Kimura, Jimmy. Going back again for the Kimura. Hasn't been able to get it in the last two rounds. Once again, it's just hard to get from half guard. See figure, uh, figure fouring on the wrist. Carl trying to snatch it, but you're right. It takes so much explosive strength. And when you open up to really crank and get pressure on it, that's when the guy steps over your guard. Hard to use from half guard. If the guy does step over, there's that possibility for the armbar. Ends up letting it go. Only has two minutes left. He's been losing this round. Carl lost in the semifinal round of Bellator Season 2 Welterweight Tournament. First round submission defeat versus Dan Hornbuckle, May of 2010. Via Kimura, the movie he's been going for all night tonight. Carl said he learned a lot from that fight. Learned to overcome fear in the cage. Very confident entering this fight. In fairness, Lima also very confident. A beautiful half guard pass there into side control. Final 90 seconds now of round number three. Can Steve Carl get out and get something done? Because he's not working on the ground for him. Full mount. Full mount achieved now by Douglas Lima. Chest to chest. You see Carl holding him tight. Well, that's a good way to keep the guy from sitting up and doing damage, but you're not going to get out with that. It's playing defense. Lima is too savvy for that. Now Lima now looking back. for a rear naked choke. Man, body triangle. Look at the long legs of Douglas Lima. Nice spin by Carl. Carl needs a finish, though. Only 58 seconds left. Carl knee on the belly. Wants to let go with the right hand and the left hand. Now, Lima with those long legs. It's very hard to get past that guard. Still controlling the wrists in this position, as high up as Carl is. There's the right left. Up kick there by Lima. Carl back in. Well, Carl needs to finish here, throwing those right hands. Big shots now by Carl. Now it's Lima playing defense. 30 seconds left. Will we have a finish in quarterfinal number one? I think Steve Carl needs one in order to win this fight. Even if he ends up on top, I don't think it's enough to take back this round. Half guard now cinched in by Lima. Carl looking to let go with the full on ground and pound. Closing stages of this fight. Carl still wants to throw. Lima's got to hang on here. Seven seconds left if he doesn't get finished. I think this is going to be Douglas Lima's fight. More right hands by Carl. Lima keeping his opponent tight. The bell, the end of
of the fight. Very close fight, obviously, but Douglas Lima, I think, finishing out strong. When we return, we will learn the winner and see who goes through to the semifinals. Douglas Lima has gone the distance. Jimmy, how did you score this fight? I scored a 29-28. Douglas Lima gave him the last two rounds. To end all suspense, here again is Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go to your judges' scorecards. Judge Ricardo Almeida scores the fight 29 to 28, while judges Jeff Lantnick and Cardo Urso both see the fight 30 to 27. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And now the first semifinalist in the welterweight tournament, Douglas the Phenom Lima. A successful Bellator.